I have manager group contains 50 user. I want to check all the user are currently manager of any group. If yes, retain them if in manager group. Else remove them. This should be happened once in a week. So I don't know what is this manager group, but I am assuming that there is a, a group called manager group maybe that uh, group name i'm assuming that it can be a role or maybe uh, I, i'm not sure at the moment what uh, saying that managers uh, group or is it managers maybe the group name so i'm assuming that the group name is the manager and then that group have a 50 user okay now what they are trying to say that so in this 50 user i have to check that this 50 user is actually manager of any group or not if they are not then i should be remove those user if they are part of or if they are manager of any group then i should be uh, keep as it is so this is might be the requirement for that i'll go to this service now and let's see that do we have any uh, group call manager or something like that so i'll go back to this service now instance and then i will search that manager and at the moment i don't have any uh, a group called managers so what i'll do i create i'm going to create a group called managers and then um, i'm just creating this so this is the groups and here let's assume that all the manager will be present so for that what i will add that i will change this from view to the default view at that moment and I will add all the managers of the group. So for that, what I'll do, I'll go back to the sys user group table again. And let's say group is active group. I should pick that active group. And if we run that at that moment, there are a couple of groups is there. And then if I filter out that all these manager name, and you can see these are the managers at that moment so let's say that this is the manager this is the manager this is the manager these are the manager so i should add them to my group so i am just adding them so i'll click edit and then adding them inside my group so or uh, the requirement probably they are trying to say that they have a one group called um, managers and inside that all the managers are present here so i'll add all the manager one by one so let's say i am adding them okay so one by one now what is the what so these three or these three are actually manager of this particular group so these they are part of this any group also they are saying that if any user is present to here let's say i am uh, the user for system administrator or maybe able tutor okay and abraham link these two users are not part of any manager so if you check here they are not part of any of this manager so every week there will be a script will be run and check that these five members are part of any group manager here if not i should remove from them so from this uh, group membership so this is the requirement that i have received at that moment so and the object what object i am trying to use the object i will use the schedule doc and here the method i'm definitely using that glide record method and in this time i'll use the glide record delete method get method uh, these two method basically i'm going to use that okay and then um, if you see all these posts that I have already done, all these sample code are there. If you want to go through and check your sample code, you can definitely go to that and check your sample code based on your requirement. So this is the requirement and this is the sample code. If for your practice purpose, you can go ahead and check that. So at that moment, our requirement is that I'm going to create a schedule job. That schedule job will check that all these, pick all these uh, member of this group called managers and then check that they are really part of this group or not if they are part of this group uh, it will be as it is otherwise uh, you know they should be removed in our case if the script will run at that moment um, able tutor and abraham lincoln should be removed because they are not part of any group manager so this is the requirement so let's go to the schedule doc so So you have to go to the schedule job uh, module and once you open that there are 
various schedule module is available schedule reporting schedule workflow so you have various options so you click the new option at that moment and you have different different option our case we are going to run the script so we are going to select that run script and here i'm going to put the name of the my schedule job check that um, managers validation something like that so this is my big um, uh, group name now if you see the little difference between schedule job and then the fixed script so last time we created a fixed script so if i open this fixed script in our earlier video so we have created called update bulk data so if you see the difference between that it have a rollback option and there is no time so whenever you click the run fixed script at that moment only this fixed script will be run but schedule job have a special benefit that it can be run weekly daily it will be automatically run you don't have to do you just put the time that on which time it should be done it you can schedule that it can be done every month it can be done every week or it can be done every day depending on your scale and it can be also run that um, on demand so on demand you have to manually run that the like thus um, the like here called fixed script also you have a condition here you can write your own condition and then condition has to be satisfied if you want to write some complex condition so that's fine so we are going to say that weekly this schedule job will be run on the monday and then we can say the time zone and then time let's say that at zero zero time or every um, um, um this time this schedule job will be run every monday and what it will check that it will be checked that it will be pick all these members of this group and then um check one by one they are actually part of any managers or not if not we should remove that that is the requirement simple requirement so let's achieve, achieve that first i am going to type the gr uh, group one something like that and then new glide record as we know that glide record is used to um as you know the glide record used to query particular table and first job is our job is that i have to collect these five members so i'll open in a new tab and you can see the table name of this one is sys user gr member so i'll copy this sys user gr member so i'm going to query going to query this table and then in this table what i need actually or i need the user and then condition will be the group name is the managers right so either um, I, if we see copy query, if we do the copy query, it will give me that uh, sys ID. So if you don't want to hard code by sys ID, you can also still hard code by name. So what I'll do, I'll click all and you can see at that moment, all these group and members are showing. Our case, I'll just show that show related here or maybe I'll say that group and you can see group fields here and I'll say the name and then what the name is the group is that manager so if i put this one all uh, you can see the group dot name name if i run that so you can see the total these five members are showing so what i am trying to do that if i copy query instead of c side it is um, instead of c side if we copy query and if we paste that at that moment it is saying that group dot name equal to manager so i am looking into this sysgr member table all these uh, all these members where group name is the manager so this is my condition or query condition so i have to put this one gr dot like this i'll put here and then add query so here i'll put the add query and then put this condition of whatever condition we are putting so i'll copy here and paste here so this what I am saying that give me these all this user or give me this record list of record under this GR member where the name of this group is the manager. So this is what I am saying at that moment. After that, I'll just say that GR dot query. So this will be query and then I will do while loop and then again I will do the gr dot next so until unless if you are not clear this part we can go we can't go to the further level so here what we are doing we are going to query to the sys user gr member where the relationship between user and manager a user and the group is present 
and for these managers group these are the members present the five members are the present now what we are trying to do we are trying to find out so this is what I need that actually all the user name or user details so I need the, all the user name in all this user name call um, with this uh, able tutor um, you know like that or all, all this user and then later I need to check here they are actually present or not right so for that what I am doing that I am going to query to the CC user uh, GL member table with the group name equal to manager and then I just put a query and then why in the while loop I am getting their name one by one so I will I'm going to declare the where user equal to GR group one dot then what is the field of this one so if I open this report so this is the end to end rep, uh, table which have a field called user and then group so I need to to get the user the field name back and field name is the user so I'll collect this field name called user and say like this one so this way it will return me the user sys id because this is a reference field so this is if I right click and show you will be able to see this type of this field is the reference field it means that it is a reference field and it will return me the sys id of that user so what sys id it will be written if my script will run it will give me one by one all the user sys id one by one so I'll get all this sys id now I have to do the second query and check that they are actually manager of not of this group or not to check that I will say that we are gr manager something like that and then here I'll do again new client record query and in this time I will query to the sys user group table so I am going to query to the sys user group table with the condition what is the condition let's put the condition one by one add query the first condition I am saying that active equal to true so this is my first condition so I will copy this query and here I will paste that active and colon here I will say the true so this is my first condition and then second condition is that what is the second condition the second condition should be the manager like whatever let's say that this is the user I'm picking let's say I'm picking this user so this user should be manager so that's what I'm trying to say okay so this user should be manager so I'll copy this query and then I will say add query and then here I am putting that manager dot name instead of that I can put the manager and then here I should be passed the sys id so the sys id that I am receiving at the line number 5 okay so I am going to query to the, with this sys id and then I have just I set the filter at that moment and then now I have to put the query and then what I will say if gr.next means that if the data is present it means that if the user is manager I don't need to do anything else I need to delete from this uh, GR member record right so what I'll do here I will say not GR manager dot next it means that if this is not present so it means that this is present I need to do some actions if this is not present then I want to do some action what action I am trying to do I want to delete this record so I will say that gr member gr dot delete record so do a formatting of the code and then save that uh, this code and let's understand one more time first I am going to query to that gr member table with the group name called managers and we i will receive the five manager sys id one or five member sys id one by one in this port line number five so it will do a while loop because it has it can have multiple records now what i am doing i am holding this username and then i am doing the second query so first loop in the first loop it will get one username and then i will query to this group table and checking that is the are part of any manager or not 
if they are part of any manager i will not do anything else i will simply delete that fine so it is done and once we save that it's every week monday it will be run at that moment okay in our case what will be happen uh, you know uh, what we can do basically we can execute now at that moment to test that so once we click that it is executed okay and if we go to here and then you can see two member got deleted because they are not part of our this groups so they are not manager of any of this group here i'll just so they are not part of any of this group and that's the reason they are removed so this script that fix uh, this schedule job will be run every week and delete will delete the member from this manager group. So that's it for today. Um, your requirement is completed. I will update that the code here. If you need the code, you can get it from here. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.